Hello, this is Jamie from FitFix out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And today I'm going to show you the simplest way to service your treadmill, running belt and deck without any tools. So this is the quickie version. Uh, I will be doing a longer video at some point too on uh, the full meal deal. But this is the easiest for if, if you don't have any tools and just want to get her done. All right, old bath towel. Fold it into quarters long ways so that the closed end is towards the front of the unit. All right, so we'll throw that down, lift up your belt, slip it under, ta-da, stand on the, unit, on the towel, hit go. We're gonna get the unit up to maximum speed here. So right now, this is gonna be cleaning out all the old contaminants, the old wax, dirt, anything that gets in underneath the belt and on top of the deck. This is kind of like doing an oil change in your car. If, uh, if you just keep adding wax to it, all you're doing is adding more wax to your vehicle and you're not cleaning out those contaminants. Those contaminants is what prematurely wears down your brake and your, or your belt and your deck. So, Keeping it clean is the absolute best thing you can do for it. Typically, in a residential setting, you could be doing this every six months to one year, depending on your usage. If you're marathon training, then uh, you certainly want to be doing it a little more often versus the leisure walker. Uh, multiple people in the house as well. That all factors in. All right. There we go. So right now we're cleaning the towel and the belt. You're going to very carefully go down, grab the towel, and start scrubbing the deck. Keep it down, you're not pulling up because you want to maximize the amount of surface area on the deck. Come to the back, don't go too far back because you're not running anywhere close to that back within you know a foot or so. So don't worry about coming back too far. If you catch that towel in the roller, you'll be calling me. All right, so come back to a comfortable distance just so you can hit your shins and then you know you're safe. Scrub the back, scrub the front, scrub the middle, pull it to the front, this is the easiest way. Just like that, okay? If you're nervous about that, and you've got it, put your foot on there, and pull the safety key. Once it stops, then you can pull the towel out. This here is a water-based commercial wax that I use. I buy this from Glide Fitness out of the US. Um, this is a yeah, water base, uh, but it does it impregnates into the running belt surface underneath and keeps, that, uh, keeps a good lubrication so you're not uh, getting too high of a friction or, um, uh, sorry, which will ultimately cause higher amp draws out of your motor, which again is all hard on the motor and the lower control board. Okay, so I'm kind of aiming towards the middle of the belt on my first, so kind of at the middle, about here, and it shoots across. On my way back, I'm shooting more towards the edge so that it shoots towards the middle. Once we're done, start your unit up at a walking pace. Go. <clears throat> and we're just gonna smooth that wax out. Get it all up in that belt and deck. Uh, the residential wax, I also buy from Glide. It's a uh, clear, looks like water, really thin, silicone oil base. Oop, that's a little fast. And uh, typically used more on the residential equipment. Because it is a greasier substance, it's very important to keep the side rails and a little bit under the belt clean. We'll go over that in a moment. But right now, I've got a three mile an hour walk, and all I'm doing is spreading that wax all over. Any residual that's gonna be under there will kind of go towards the back roller, and it'll squirt out all across, so. 
Be careful not to over wax. Over waxing can seep through the belt and once that happens, you're toast. You need a new belt. The top becomes just as slippery as underneath and it's not good. After this, I'll do a stomp test. So I run this at eight mile an hour, mimicking about a 250, 300 pound guy running on this thing. I'm checking to see if the dry belt is loose and the running belt is loose. So I'm kind of coming forward with that, trying to stop that running belt. No issues there at all. Belts are tight. If you do get any kind of slippage, generally if it's a high pitch squeal, it's going to be your drive belt that's loose. Okay, always have your hood off when you're servicing your unit, right? That's where you can see what's going on. Get a vacuum in there, unplug it, sorry, unplug it first, get a vacuum in there, wipe it down, keep it clean. It's the best thing you can do to keep these things running as clean as possible. Uh, you put good money into these things, so protect them. Uh, okay, if, the, uh, if you do get some slippage, uh, this way with the hood off, you'll be able to see if it's the dry belt or it's the running belt. If it's the running belt, You'll want to stop the unit. You will tighten the back. There's usually an Allen key hole here. So you put an Allen key in, start it up to the 12 o'clock position if you can, and give it about a quarter turn on both sides, tightening it, okay? Righty tighty. Give it a try again, do that stomp test. If it's still loose, another quarter turn, another quarter turn, try it again. If you get to about two full turns and you're still getting slippage, guaranteed it's gonna be your drive belt. Back your rollers off, equal turns again, probably one full turn at least. Um, and then look at your drive belt situation. Uh, should be no cracking. Um, some, motor, some of them, you can push the motor back on them and that'll tighten the drive belt. This one has an idler pulley with a spring, so it's constant tension on there. Some units don't have an adjustment at all, so you just have to replace the drive belt. If you have a uh, if you need to center your running belt, so if it's running to the left side, let's say your heavy left side, uh, what you'll do is you'll run it at max speed. This way you can see the shift happening. You'll want to tighten the side that it's tracking towards. Okay, belt tracking left side. We're going to tighten this by a quarter turn, righty tighty. Remember again at max speed. Watch it creep over a little bit. If it needs another adjustment, another quarter turn, do it again. Always tighten, never loosen. You don't want to get that loose belt, but also again, be careful you're not over tightening because it's really hard on the rear rollers, the front rollers, and the dry belt over tensioning can help or hurt the uh, uh, drive motor bearings as well. All right, um, there you go. That's it, that's uh, service without any tools. Um, again, I mentioned the tools at the back there, but that's more mainly for the, uh, the waxing that I wanted to show on this uh, video. All right, thanks. Give me some comments. You got any questions? Uh, let me know. I'm here to help. Remember, Jamie with FitFix. And please like, subscribe, do all the bell stuff that those YouTubers say. Help a brother out. All right, thank you.